This is how to reset the TP-Link RE605X, but quick heads up before you start. First off, uh, this only can be done when the device is plugged in. And second, if you remember the device password, you don't have to set up the device from scratch. After a reset, you can create the backup configuration file and upload it in into your device after a factory reset. So, uh, grab the pin, face the right side of the extender, locate the reset button, it's labeled and it's in the small hole, that's why you need a pin, and push this button for about three seconds, then release and the device will be uh, reset. But uh, let's create the backup file. This only can be done from web browser, so uh, go to your uh, PC or Mac, uh, connect to the e extender network, then go to your web browser and in the address bar type in tplinkrepeater.net uh, This is the login page Enter your password And now you are in the settings menu on this tab go to system tools and click on backup and restore and here you can create the backup file just click on this backup button the file is saved to your downloads folder you can put it somewhere else uh, after reset go back to this menu and then go to restore section click on browse upload your file and click on restore and you will have all your settings back all your connections uh, cloud services typically in cloud i mean uh, and so on uh, also from here you can make soft reset so if factory restore is hard reset uh, this button does the same as the button on the extender but if you click on restore uh, it restores all configuration set settings to uh, default values except your login and cloud account information keep this in mind uh, so after you created backup file you can confidently uh, grab a pin push the reset button for a couple of seconds then release and now all leds except power are off it means the reset is underway and that's it something is blinking and that's completely normal Wait a minute, wait a minute, please. And that's it. When the power indicator is blinking blue, it means the reset is completed and now you can set up the device from scratch or use your configuration file. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and have a nice day. Be awesome. Bye, guys.